Okay, so uh, we've got two videos left on trigonometry. Uh, in those videos, we're going to look at some of the identities that you might need to use on a day-to-day -day basis in calculus. Um, they, they come up less often than you might think, so you don't have to worry too much about playing around with identities, but they, they do come up from time to time, so it's something to be aware of. Um, now, basic identities are some of these ones that we, we observed when we were pulling up the, the graphs, right? Um, we saw this sort of translation identity, right, that sine x is the same thing as cosine of, of x minus pi over 2, okay? So we have this sort of shift that, that relates the sine and cosine graphs. Um, we have the sort of even odd identities. Right, let's label those. So we have the even odd identities. So sine of minus x is minus sine x. Cos of minus x is plus cos x, right? So sine is odd. Cosine is, is even. Among the other four trig functions, uh, secant is the only other even one. Uh, the other three, uh, tan, cotan, cosecant, they're all odd as well. Okay? Um, and then uh, we also have these identities coming from the fact that the trig functions are all periodic. So, so sine of x plus any multiple of 2 pi is the same thing as sine of x for k. k could be any, any integer. So 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Uh, and the same thing for cosine. Adding any multiple of 2 pi. gets you back to where you started. Uh, same is true for secant and cosecant. Um, for tangent and cotangent, you'll notice that, in fact, the, the period is a little bit shorter. Um, uh, the period for tan is, in fact, just pi. Okay, and that's valid for any, for any x, right? For all these identities, they hold true for, for any angle x that you want to put in. Uh, now, uh, the fundamental identities, there are the Pythagorean identities, so-called, because, well, they come from the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, remembering that, that sine and cosine are the x and y coordinates on the unit circle, uh, and remembering that the unit circle is defined as, as x squared plus y squared equals 1, we get that cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. Okay, so that's this primary Pythagorean identity, right? Uh, tends to be the one trig identity that everyone remembers. Um, the, the ones that are a little bit tricky to derive, uh, we're not going to try to prove the addition identities. Um, and, and I guess also subtraction. So uh, the, these addition subtraction identities, they're, they're the most difficult trig identities to, um, to derive, and they're probably also the most difficult to remember. Um, so for cosine, cosine of x plus y is cos x cos y. And then it's the opposite sign, minus sign sine x, sine y. Um, if you were doing subtraction, if it was x minus y, that minus there becomes a plus. Okay? And for sine, sine of x plus y, you get sine x cos y, same sign, 
plus cos x sine y. Okay? And if it was a minus sign here, it'll be a minus sign there. Okay? Um, so these, these, are, these three identities here are kind of your go-to identities. These basic identities, they'll come up from time to time. Um, but, but these ones you kind of tend to internalize and you don't think about them too much. Uh, maybe this shift one, you don't remember which way it goes. Um, but the shift one isn't, isn't super important anyway. Um, the, these are going to be the primary ones that you rely on quite frequently. And hopefully you'll use them often enough that you don't have to sit down and memorize them because they'll, they'll sink in once you've used them you know, enough times.